And hey guys, and thank you for checking out yet another Dr. Phone video. So Apple AirPlay has become a popular alternative to other streaming services since its inception. Though, who wouldn't? I mean, AirPlay has a fantastic user interface, and I can see why it's become so popular. However, there have been reports of AirPlay issues from some users. If you recently upgraded to iOS 16, this could be the reason why you are experiencing these issues, by the way. And you run the risk of losing the ability to stream videos to directly from your iPhone to your Apple TV, which could be a very frustrating experience for just about anyone. In this video, I'm going to explain how to quickly and easily fix the Apple AirPlay problem in iOS 16. So please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up before we go any further. You might as well click that subscribe button as well and make sure to turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of my subsequent phone repair videos coming up very soon. So before I show you how to fix your AirPlay issues after, you must have upgraded to iOS 16. Now let us first discuss how AirPlay works. Let's dive right in. Part 1. How does AirPlay work? So discovering more about the technology behind AirPlay and how it operates is something that couldn't come at a better time than right now. This information will aid in troubleshooting. So Apple AirPlay is a service that runs on Apple hardware and other hardware such as third-party Wi-Fi routers as a support AirPlay to see Wi-Fi network to stream audio, video content, and photos between head devices. AirPlay is supported on Apple hardware as well as other hardware such as these routers. Now, this gives you the ability to, for instance, keep your music library physically saved on your Mac while still being able to play it on other systems in another room from your iPhone and that kind of thing. Additionally, the same technology made it possible for you to utilize Apple Airport Express Wi-Fi routers to wirelessly stream music from your Apple devices to a stereo system linked to the Airport Express via the 3.5 millimeter connector that was applied to the router itself. Now, during that time period, is a certain piece of technology seemed almost magical. It was something that taken for granted until it stopped working. At this point, you may find yourself on YouTube searching channels that offer a solution to the problem of why Apple AirPlay isn't working after updating to iOS 16. However, when it stops working, you should not panic, as I will be showing you some easy ways to fix this issue. So part two, what to do if AirPlay is not working after iOS 16 update. So fix number one is going to be to restart your iPhone, iPad, or Mac. Now, I can't count how many times I've stated this, but a fresh start is almost always helpful. It will clear up some space in the system memory, even if it does nothing. So I will show a rundown on, on how to restart your iPhone, iPad, and Mac for that matter. So how to restart an iPhone or iPad. To power off your device, just navigate to the settings, general, and then shut down. And then slide the button to turn off the gadget from there. Now, how to restart your Mac. What you would do in this instance instead is to click the Apple logo in the menu bar's top left corner, then click the restart button and then confirm the action from there. Fix number two, power cycle Apple TV. So in the event that an Apple TV is involved, you should also attempt to restart the Apple TV for added precaution. Apple TV may be turned off and on by just shutting it down. After that, leave it alone for a few seconds to rest and then turn it back on after that. Fix number three, restart Wi-Fi router. So did you know that some firmware like Asus routers include an option that allows for automatic restarts of the device at predetermined intervals? Well, yeah, the age in which we find ourselves, wouldn't you say? It doesn't really matter if you're talking about your iPhone or your basic Wi-Fi router. The main line is that a restart cures everything. After waiting a few seconds with the power off to the router, you should then turn it back on. If your devices did not immediately connect to the Wi-Fi network, Network, you would need to reconnect them. Fix number four, reset all settings. So if you had tried out every method that I have discussed so far and you still have the same issues, the best thing to do is to reset all settings. And you can easily do that by studying your device manual and following the user's guide that comes with the device. Now, the idea behind resetting all settings is that your, your devices will return to, the, to their default settings. There is a pretty high probability that the reset might fix your AirPlay issues and your device will function normally. However, you might try all of the methods that I have discussed so far and nothing might change. 
that's where you need a professional tool to help ease of the process and get your phone back to normal function without you losing any kind of data. So that's when we go into part three, which is going to be fix number five as well. So use Wondershare Dr. Phone System Repair to fix AirPlay issues on iPhones running iOS 16. So Wondershare Dr. Phone is the ultimate tool available for fast and easy repairing iOS problems with just a few clicks of the mouse. Now, the program is comprised of multiple modules, each of which is tailored to perform a certain function. For instance, before downloading iOS, iOS 16, you should use phone backup to create full and selective backups of your device. For instance, also, before downloading iOS 16, you should use iPhone backup to create full and selective backups of your device. Now, you may also use virtual location to fool your friends into thinking that you're somewhere else entirely and play some pranks, but also collect some awesome Pokemon through Pokemon Go. For the time being, we're just going to focus on system repair, however, and we're going to be talking about how you can fix your device with Without losing any data. So how exactly might Dr. Phone software help you resolve any difficulties that you might be having? Well, step one is going to be to download Dr. Phone from its official website. The URL is going to be included in the description. Then start the app. And then from there, go ahead and select the system repair option from the drop down menu. And then click on standard mode over here since you're going to be seeing both standard and advanced modes, but you're going to want to click on standard. So you may quickly fix iOS problems without losing any data by using standard mode, and you can do a more in-depth repair by switching to advanced mode instead. When you select advanced mode, all user data will be deleted. So to proceed, just choose standard mode from the menu. Now your device's model and firmware version will be displayed. So do make any kind of corrections if necessary, and then just proceed to click on the start button from there. After verifying your iPhone's information with Apple, Dr. Phone system repair will ask you to fix now. And then it's going to download the latest firmware for your iPhone. And then click on fix now and then just wait for it to finish. And then you will be able to use AirPlay once more after the iOS fix has been completed, at which point the iPhone is going to restart. Now for part four, FAQs regarding AirPlay and iOS 16. So to wrap up this video, here are going to be some answers to some frequently asked questions that have been sent my way over time. So here we go. Question one, why does my AirPlay constantly pause and restart it? It's usually because AirPlay relies on Wi-Fi. Its performance may decrease if the connected device is unable to receive a strong signal from the wireless network. Question number two. What are some ways to enhance the performance of the AirPlay function on my iPhone? So if you often notice a slowdown in performance, it's possible that your outdated Wi-Fi network is struggling to keep up with a number of connected devices. It is possible that it is time to make an investment in a new router. However, there is a high probability that the problem could be just a technical issue. So before spending money on buying a router that might not fix the problem, you should consider using Dr. Phone Repair Solution with just a few clicks and then your AirPlay will be working and working perfectly at that. Question number three, what steps to take to downgrade from iOS 16 to iOS 15? So when you are adequately prepared, the transition from iOS 16 to iOS 15 is a piece of cake to perform. Use Dr. Phone Phone Backup to create a backup of your device before installing iOS 16. And if you decide at a later time that you wish to downgrade from iOS 16 to iOS 15, you can do it with just a few clicks using the system repair module from Dr. Phone. So in conclusion, if you want to, you may restore your backup to your iPhone using Phone Backup once more with only a single click. And with that, we actually come to an end to today's video. Please drop your comments in the comment section about which method helped you fix your AirPlay not working issue. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And I do hope to see you on the next video. So until then, have a good one.